Hello everybody, it's Miles here from Flock of Nerds and uh, Catherine and I managed to pick up a hot ticket item a few days ago, uh, something that everybody's been uh, looking for, it's this NES Classic Edition console that comes with 30 games, uh, 30 original NES games built right into it and the 30 games they chose were really great, it's 30 great games. So we're going to unbox this and then maybe we're going to play a little bit of a Donkey Kong for Mario Mondays. So this is what it looks like. This is the uh, NES Mini. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's the classic edition. And it's a pretty good interface. Like, it's pretty simple. One of the, I mean, it has a lot of features on it. People are saying, oh, it's, you know, just as good as a Raspberry Pi or whatever, or, or worse because you get less games. But I want to showcase some of the features that it has. If you press select, you get to sort. And you can sort by publisher, by title, by two-player games, oh, that's useful. by recently played, by times played, and by release date, which I think is the coolest. Oh, you get all those yeah. black box games first. And then it's like a little history lesson, like what came out first and what order. Like, did you know that Punch-Out came out before Super Mario 2? I didn't. Oh, that is a really cool feature. Yeah, I like that. We're just going to do one player because I'm not feeling well. You can probably hear it in my voice. <laughs> oh, I love this music. This is standard definition, 4x3. Yes, and they, they also have a pixel perfect setting as yeah. well as a, a CRT one. So you get the lines if you really want the lines. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The scan lines or whatever, right? Yeah. I think it's a, I think it's a neat idea. Like, if you, if you really... Ooh. Oh, no. I got the hammer, but I have not played this game. I got to warn really? you. Really? Yeah, this is not a game that I have played. I mean, you know the basic concepts. Jump at the right moment. Really? And does that hammer, that hammer doesn't last for, uh-oh. Got, got it. it. The hammer doesn't last forever. No, it certainly does not. And then you gotta And you can't choose. go up ladders when you have the hammer in your hand. Okay. Uh, and do we know when the, when the stuff is gonna fall? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, is it? Is that the sound? Is that the right sound? Yeah, I think so. It's, oh no! Oh no, he dropped it right on Mario. Yeah, Donkey head. Kong, he's good at what he does. Man, I suck at Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's interesting about this game that I just found out recently is that this was not supposed to be Donkey Kong. Oh. This was Popeye, a video game based on the cartoon Popeye. Uh. And uh, they made it and then they realized they didn't have the rights. Oh, that's so funny. So they switched it up and this just became was like th this just became like a a fix it for a, for a mistake that they made. It's kind of funny just um only because uh, wow, that was pretty sneaky ladder moves. Oh, uh, thank you. Only because of how seriously Nintendo takes intellectual property now, right? Like ooh. That was get away I did from, not think yeah. that was going to work. I think you're doing really well here. I at, died at least twice. now. Well, yeah. But for someone who's never played this this game, like it seems it seems basic, right? It seems pretty simple. Not simple, but just like I mean, generally, not not the most difficult, but it is actually quite challenging. Have you? Well, I know, I know the answer to this because we watched it together, but the documentary King of Kong. Oh, it's amazing. Which is so good, and it's about, like, what's his name? Billy. Billy Mitchell, Mitchell right? All the oh, controversy. No, I, jumped, I jumped too far. Oh, really? I fell and hurt myself, yeah. Game uh, over. That's game. Okay, you know what? I will try. Thank you. But, <laughs> no. Oh, thank you. So the, yeah, so that documentary is quite good. Ah! Whoa, oh, nice. I jumped. <laughs> we are very bad at Donkey Kong. But that's okay. You know what? I've never played... I, I feel like I have played in an arcade. Yeah, but like you tried it one time, right? Like, yeah, Just to like, say that you played it. You're... My favorite part in in that King of Kong documentary... I, I don't know. It was my, ooh, there's a fireball coming after me. The fireball can go up, apparently. Ah! Um, was the, like when the guy has his own... I, I, oh, there was oh, two barrels there. Oh, no. One barrel was behind the other one. When he has his arcade and he's got the little, like, uh, wax marker kind of thing that, that he's 
writing on, like, mapping out all the different barrel movements and stuff, so he knows, like, exactly where the barrels are going to be and when he has to jump and stuff. Of course you would like that part the most. It's so, pre- it's so <laughs> precise and all the planning and everything, like... You love it when people take fun things and turn it into work. <laughs> <laughs> Not work, but like, like I like when they math it, you know? Oh no, I jumped too soon. <laughs> you laughed at me the first time um, I played D&D. <laughs> Alright, with... I'm up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize I already lost. <laughs> but you laughed at me the first time I played D&D because... And this is when we were playing uh, 4.0 and they were still like bloodied and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like kept track of all the damage that was done. And like whenever you told me, like if you would say that a, a creature was bloodied, then I would know it when we were close to killing it and stuff. And you were like, I've never played with anyone who's played it this way. I'm like, this is the most fun for me is the math. <laughs> and then you were just like, you're not doing it right. <laughs> Usually, I say there's no wrong way to play D&D, and oh, oh, again... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then I realized that probably was the wrong way to play. I was new, and I thought that that was the fun part of the game. Also, like, making characters. Like, when you had to, like, roll dice and, like, try to figure out their stats and stuff. I found all of that really fun. And then I realized that I played D&D after having played WoW. And I rolled so many beginner WoW characters just because I really liked creating them and, like, playing them from, like, level 1 to 20. And then I'd be like, okay, I'll start another one. So I started so many characters. Watch out for the barrel on your head. Oh, are you just gonna... Yeah, don't even bother. Oh, I couldn't get on that ladder. That's okay. Don't, don't get greedy. Is there a time limit? I think there must be, right? Is there? Oh, yeah. The... Oh, okay. All right. There we go. My princess. All right. Now let's see if you can get past level two. No big jumps. There's a fireball. What is that? Oh, would you get smushed if you stayed on there, do you think? Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's wow. instant death. I gotta go to the bottom, I think. It's funny, too, because he lands it, and then he dies. So you're like, oh, well, maybe... He... No, no. Or maybe I should just try to go for the... Uh, What's the umbrella the do? One. Oh, it gives you some points. It's like a cherry or whatever. And... Oh, okay. I think go across the top, but, like... As... Oh, oh, I yes. made it! What is he throwing, though? They're springs. Okay. Well, they're not coming down that All first right. one. I feel like it's not even going to hit you, is it? It's just... The, the, ooh, good job! Ah! I did it! Oh my god, look at how that spring is right beside you. I've never... I, I Yeah, I mean... I, yeah, I, at I, this I, point it all looks new to me. Yeah. Because the only stage I'm actually familiar with is that first one. I, yeah, I don't think I've seen Can this stage is, Was that a telephone? Uh-oh. But there's a fight. Oh no! He's, he's freaking me out, man. So he hit reset... Which brings you back to the main menu, and then you have the option of the most recent game that you played, whether or not you want to make... Oh, that does not seem like a jump to... So That's I'm just going to go back to my... <laughs> back to my save state. you got to go then, down and pick yeah, this one. Pick okay. this one. The one where you're nine Ooh. minutes into the game, but all your lives, so that's good. Does this tell you how many lives you have? Oh, you have two. That's a, that's a weird screen at the side. Oh. Good job. Yeah, all right. Now we do another save state. Yeah, this is how you're supposed to play video games now. We're you gaming the system. Oh, uh, you hold it. And uh, it knocks it out. Okay. We're such cheaters, but really I just want to get past the stage, and then that's it. All right. So you think that it's just a matter of getting rid of those plugs? Is it just yeah. those ones or all of no, them? No, I think it's just these two plugs. Or maybe it is all of them. Oh. Are you still going to have to get up top? Why? Oh. Oh, he's so angry. <laughs> My oh, look oh it. they fell in love. You're her hero. This is where it all began. Who says women don't like short guys? <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just back to the beginning. 
Oh, is that is this the game? Just yeah, faster? and then it gets harder, right? Because that's... is it only three stages? Is Donkey Kong only three stages? I think so, but I don't know for sure. No. I don't know. Someone can confirm. Maybe we should rewatch that documentary. Uh oh! Don't let it fall on your head. Like I don't know how much, if any, this differed from level one. I I don't feel like it did at all. Yep, and this is the same stage that we played. Okay, Donkey Kong. I see the game you play. Oh, I get smushed. I'm not going to try to beat the King of Kong score by using save states. Yeah. That's something Billy Mitchell would do. <gasps> Ooh, you did it. Ooh, we got there, princess. Do the fireballs chase you? Yes. And they move kind of randomly, it feels like. Maybe it's not random. Maybe they have a pattern. It's just that I'm no Donkey Kong expert, okay? Not All right, get them. Oh, wait, okay. I was like, won't you fall with them if you <laughs> jump over that? All right, so Donkey Kong is a little repetitive. It's good yeah, to know. It, anyway, I think that's probably all people need to see if it's just going to uh, be... They haven't seen the stage yet, Gather. <laughs> if it's just going to be variations on a theme, then that's probably enough. But um, we want to thank you all for watching. Um, thanks to any new subscribers that we got. Um, if anyone who's new here, we're glad you're here. We hope you stay. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Whoa, uh, you did double jumps. I did. No one will see it. I'm going to leave it in. <laughs> I, I'll edit it out.